In our last video, we talked about the relationship between central moments, raw moments, and moments about origin. Right? In our last video, we discussed how to derive this relationship. Today, in this video, we're talking about an example that how is this relationship between the three kinds of moments actually used or applied in few questions. Some of these questions are quite important from exam's point of view as well. So yeah, we'll be basically discussing the brief concept that is just sum up of the concept or summing up the entire thing that we discussed in our last video. And then we'll directly skip on to the question. Uh, question. We won't be discussing the derivation again. So let's start. So, okay. First of all, uh, let's first simply uh, write down the formulas that what exactly is uh, uh, central moment. So that is represented by mu r. We all know this is equal to summation f of x minus x bar to the power r upon n, where this x bar represents the me. So we all know this is the central moments. Then if you want to find or if you're when we are talking about raw moments, raw moments can be uh, calculated as mu dash r, which is equal to summation f x minus a to the power r upon n. That is if I am trying to find the moment about an arbitrary constant a, then I can simply use this formula. That is let's suppose if I am finding, if I am trying to find, uh, let's suppose a uh, third moment about 5. So about 5 means this a is equal to 5 and Third moment means r is equal to 3. Right? This is just an example but not an actual. So, I am not writing it down so that you don't get confused. But I am just trying to tell you. Right? And then comes the moments about origin. Moment about origin is basically more or less similar to raw moments. Except for the thing that moments about origin is a special case of raw moments. How? Whenever this a is equal to 0, a is equal to 0 from this raw moments, whenever this a becomes 0, then that is simply moments about origin. So, when a is 0, uh, we can write it as vr is equal to, vr simply represents the moments, r is a moment about origin. vr is equal to summation f x to the power r, because a is 0, so I am neglecting that term. So, this is summation f x to the power r upon n. So, what is the basic difference between the two? Central moments means about x bar, raw moments mean about any arbitrary constant and moments about origin means around about a is equal to 0. Fine. Now, we have already discussed in our last video that if we want to find central moments in terms of raw moments. So, how can we find it? If we have, let's suppose we have the values of raw moments and I need to find central moments from them. So, how can we do it? We all know central moment, uh, first central moment is always 0, right? So, first moment about the mean is always 0. Then mu2 is equal to mu2 dash minus mu1 dash square. Mu3 is equal to mu3 dash minus 3 mu2 dash mu1 dash plus 2 mu1 dash cube. Mu4 is equal to mu dash 4 minus 4 mu3 dash mu1 dash plus 6 mu2 dash mu1 dash square minus 3 mu1 dash to the power 4 right so basically this is the uh, these are the formulas from which we can uh, depict the central moment in terms of the raw, raw moments that is if we are given the values of raw moments we can simply calculate the central moments so now let us first start with the first central moment that is we all know mu1 is equal to 0 mu2 is equal to mu2 dash minus mu1 dash square mu3 is equal to mu3 dash minus 3 mu2 dash mu1 dash plus 2 mu1 dash cube and mu4 is equal to mu dash 4 minus 4 mu3 dash mu1 dash plus 6 mu2 dash mu1 dash square minus 3 mu1 dash to the power 4. Now what if when we want to convert the central moments in terms of moments about origin? So we all know that this moments about origin is a special case of raw moments that is when a is equal to 0. Right? So, what we can do is, we can simply replace mu dash, mu i dash with vr. Right? 
So this implies mu1 is equal to 0. Mu2 is equal to v2 minus v1 square. Mu3 is equal to mu3 dash means v3 minus 3 v2 v1 plus 2 v1 cube. And mu4 is equal to v4 minus 4 v3 v1 plus 6 v2 v1 square minus 3 v1 to the power 4. Right? So this is as simple as that. So this is the basic formula for it. Now uh, see one thing I would like to highlight before skipping on further. Can I also write that v4 is also equal to mu4 plus 4 v3 v1 minus 6 v2 v1 square plus 3 v1 4. I have simply taken this entire term towards our left hand side and this gives us v4. So like this also I can convert my moments about origin to in terms of my central moments. Right? But instead of talking like this, this we all know that we can easily rotate. So now we'll be talking about direct formulas as well. Rather than rotating them, what are the direct formulas? Okay. So we've already seen that raw moments in terms of central moments are simply mu1 dash is equal to mean minus a. Right? Mu2 dash is equal to mu2 plus mu1 dash square. Mu3 dash is equal to mu3 plus 3 mu2 mu1 dash plus mu1 dash cube. And mu dash 4 is equal to mu 4 plus 4 mu 3 mu 1 dash plus 6 mu 2 mu 1 dash square plus mu 1 dash to the power 4. So now what if I want to convert the moments about origin in terms of central moments? That is v1 is equal to mean minus a. But for moments about origin, a is always equal to 0. Therefore, v1 is equal to mean v2 is equal to simply mu 2. Plus v1 dash will become v uh, mu1 dash will become v1 square. Then v3 is equal to mu3 plus 3 mu2 v1 plus v1 cube. Then v4 is equal to mu4 plus 4 mu3 v1 plus 6 mu2 v1 square plus v1 to the power 4. This is also a formula. Again from here I can also derive that mu4 is also equal to v4 minus 4 mu3 v1 minus 6 mu2 v1 square minus v1 to the power 4. Yes? Can I also use this? So this is more or less similar. Fine? So basically this is how we can compute these. And so now we'll directly skip on to the examples. Right? So this is the example. The first four moments of a distribution are about the value 4. About the value 4 means we are talking about raw moments. Right? That is we are given mu dash r. About the value 4 means a is equal to 4. R1, 4, 10 and 45. So we are given mu1 dash is equal to 1, mu2 dash is equal to 4, mu3 dash is equal to 10 and mu4 dash is equal to 45. Calculate the first four moments about mean and origin. So let's start with this. So we have direct formulas for conversion of raw moments into central moments. That is if you want to find central moment in terms of raw moments, we have a direct formula for that. As we are given here these. I simply copied it down over here. Okay. So we all know mu1 is always equal to 0. So that I have already written. Now mu2 is equal to mu2 dash minus mu1 dash square. So now what is mu2 dash? Mu2 dash is 4 minus mu1 dash is 1. 1 square which is equal to 4 minus 1 which is equal to 3. Right? Okay. So mu3 is equal to mu3 dash minus 3 mu2 dash mu1 dash plus 2 mu1 dash q. So this is mu3 dash is 10 minus 3 into mu2 dash is 4 into 1 plus 2 into mu1 dash q means 1 cube. This gives us 10 minus 12 plus 2. This is 0. What is mu4 now? 
mu 4 is mu dash 4, mu dash 4 is 45, minus 4 mu 3 dash that is 10 into mu 1 dash that is 1, plus 6 into mu 2 dash that is 4, mu 1 dash square means 1 square, minus 3 mu 1 dash to the power 4. So solving it, this is 45 minus 40 plus 24 minus 3 right so this becomes 5 plus 24 that is 29 minus 3 that is 26 right so from here we have calculated our central moments in terms of raw moments so if you want to write it down simply we can write it as mu1 is equal to 0 right then mu2 is equal to 3 mu2 is equal to 3 mu3 is equal to again 0 and from uh, when mu3 is 0 what do we say we simply say it is symmetric right the distribution is symmetric mu4 is equal to 26 now what do we want to find is moments about origin so moments about origin that is vr so we have again basic formula v1 v2 v3 and v4 so now what is uh, what are the basic formulas these v1 is equal to mean right v2 is equal to mu2 plus v1 square mu2 plus v1 square then uh, what is our v3 that is mu3 plus 3 mu2 v1 plus v1 cube Here, I have simply written down the formulas that we have, right? So, now let's start. What is V1 is equal to mean? Now, for that, we need to find mean. So, how will we find mean? It's very, very simple. See, uh, let's check this out. Over here, we have mu1 dash is equal to mean minus A, right? Okay. So, mu1 dash is equal to mean minus A. So, over there, what was mu1 dash? That was 1, which is equal to mean minus. What was uh, A over there? Over here, A is 4 when mu1 dash is 1. Right? So, this implies that mean is equal to 4 plus 1, that is 5. So, we have got the value. And so, this becomes 5. Now, what is V2? V2 is simply mu2 plus v1 square this becomes 3 plus 25 which is 28 now what is mu3 uh, v3 v3 is equal to mu3 that is 0 plus 3 mu2 v1 3 into what is mu2 3 v1 is 5 plus v1 cube v1 is again 5 so this is 5 cube so this becomes 3 into 3 into 5 is 45 plus 125. So this becomes 170. So now let's find V4. V4 is simply equal to mu4 plus 4 mu3 V1. So let's write it down 26 plus 4 into what is mu3? 0 into V1 is uh, 5. Plus 6 into mu2. Mu2 is 3 into v1 square. Right? v1 is 5. So, this is into 5 square. Plus v1 to the power 4. Means 5 to the power 4. So, this becomes 26. Plus this is entirely 0. Plus 18 into 25. Plus 625. So this becomes simply 26 plus 450 plus 625. And this gives us 1101. Right? So from here we have calculated all our moments about origin. So this is how we can use the relationship to compute other two kinds of moments using one given single moments. Right? 
So I hope you like this video. Do subscribe this channel for more videos. Thank you.